Hi, so we've been doing a, quite a lot with this thing. It's our um, 30 watt CO2 laser. It's a K40. It's the thing that you see on eBay all the time or on Amazon. It's the Chinese thing. Uh, and they're sort of now round about 350, 400 pounds, something like that. They're a bit clunky. They take a bit of getting used to, but they're very popular because they're cheap. And actually, they do quite a good job if you're prepared to work with them. Now, um, we've actually just started using this a bit more lately. And <laughs> Luke has discovered it. So he's absolutely fallen in love with it and is using it almost continually, which is awesome. But there are a couple of things that um, occur with it just in regular maintenance. And it, when I say regular, it's almost after every time you've used it. It happens quite a lot, actually. It's quite easy. But the two main problems you're going to get are misalignment of the mirrors and um, this thing here. And we'll have a closer look at that thing there and go through it. So the laser itself is generated in a tube in the back. It's hidden by this blue panel, bounces off a mirror, bounces off of this mirror, shoots into here where we've got an angled mirror there, and then it comes out of that head. And it's the, this head that moves, obviously, the XY axis. So if it's in this position and you've got slight misalignment between this mirror and this mirror, the cut that you make up here is much, much weaker than the cut that you make down there. So if you're getting a strong cut here and a weak cut there, that is, it's going through the material here but not through the material here, your mirrors are misaligned. Now, if you're having to run it time and time again to make the same cut that you made when you started, that's because this has got dirty. Now, a lot of materials behave in a different way, and we burn quite a lot of different materials, paper, PVC, ABS, acrylic, quite a lot of different things. And Luke has been doing a lot with PVC at the moment. And what I'm doing is unscrewing the focus ring stroke lens holder, which is really easy to undo from this head. Here we go. So that there is the lens. It's a ruby lens, and it's held in this aluminium holder. And if I turn it over, you see how dirty that has got. That has got that dirty in only about three or four trial runs that Luke has been doing. Now you need to clean it. It's really easy to clean. You just get a bit of acetone on something soft and clean it off with acetone. You'll notice I'm touching the other side of the lens here at the moment so that now has a greasy finger mark on it and I need to clean off that greasy finger mark. The only thing to remember here is that the, the position of the lens matters. So if you turn it round, you'll defocus the laser. You have to keep it in the same position. Now, normally it's really easy for me. I just do that, clean it that way so it never comes out, do that way, and then use a cotton swab with some acetone to clean it that way. Once we've cleaned it, we can put it back. I've got some acetone and a bit of kitchen towel. Take hold of that and give it a good clean. And you see it comes up really quite easily and quite nicely. And then we go to that side and take our cotton bud and clean it with the cotton bud. I'm just going to use this, but you should use something soft like a cotton bud. When that's done, it's clean and you can put the lens back in place in the lens holder stroke focusing ring. Now be careful when you put this on not to cross the threads. If you cross the threads, you're basically going to ruin the whole thing. So don't force it. If it won't go on, don't, you're misaligning it and you need to realign it. Then give it a few minutes for the acetone to evaporate and you're ready to go. So believe me, it's quite surprising how quickly that lens gets dirty. I mean, that was particularly dirty, okay, because we had a lot of soot and smoke. But it gets um, dirty quickly. And once it gets a covering of carbon on there, then your power from your laser is going to drop right down when it comes to making the cut. Because obviously the tube is going to be pushing out power, but it can't get through the black covering. So a regular clean of that, and that's probably once a week, depending on how much you're using this, will keep that laser cutting beautifully. Anyway, I thought I'd share that experience with you. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching.